Bedard, not a word. Cool. It's a pitcher. Eric Bedard. There we go. I think that's why I thought that was a thing. Hoisted by the pitcher. Yeah, hosted by Eric Bedard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Stevens with Green White Company, Eric Hensman with El Drazi Tron. Um, these teams will be underway here in just a moment. Join on the conversation at SCG Tour, hashtag SCG B A L T for round number 13. As Todd is going to start things off with a forest and a birds of paradise. Chalice to the void, the draw there for Eric Hensman. He'll play in El Drazi Temple. He'll follow it up with a map of the expedition variety as we head over to Todd Stevens. Now, we call this Green White Company. Todd calls this... Green White Value Town. Value Town. Value Town. Shows up with Value Town. Now, there's a lot of things he can do with this deck as he reveals Path to Exile to Corsair of Crufix. Uh, this was... I want to see if it still is. Okay, so it's still very much a Ghost Quarter-centric deck. He has four copies still, uh, and he can definitely bring those back and do that whole thing a bunch. Yeah, he's rocking a couple of the Remanap Excavators. Yep, two of those in the main deck here this weekend. Um, I don't know if the reason that Todd built this deck was because Eldrazi Tron's kind of rise, which he also caused, but... So you're saying he wants to create his own metagame. Yes. And then dismantle that metagame with another brew, thus establishing a new metagame again. Yes, he's demonstrating the loop. As here comes the Courser for two, maybe. I don't know if he has a Noble Hierarch to play pre-combat for an Exalted Trigger or not. He has a Noble Hierarch on top of his deck. He'll play a Forest, he's going to gain a life. And now he'll play Collective Company. So he could hit a Noble Hierarch off Company, which you obviously see. He can't cast, I mean, technically he can't cast Noble Hierarch. And then if Ensman were to miss the trigger, it'd be awkward from the Chalice. But he actually found a bunch of Noble Hierarchs there with the Company. But he's going to select Avon Mind Sensor and another copy of Corsair of Crufix. You see Eric taking a look at Avon Mind Sensor. We're going to do the same. That's rather convenient when you're staring at a map on the other side of the board. There are worse things to have happen. There you do see the 2 1 Bird Wizard. It's got Flash Flying, and if his opponent were, would search a library, that player searches the top four cards of that library instead. Reality Smasher is the play here from Eric Ensman. He's going to come across here for five. Steven's going to take that five. He's going to fall down to 16. And now he will untap, and his draw step will be a Path to Exile. Ghost Quarter already in hand. The reveal is Ghost Quarter. That's going to enter the battlefield. Two triggers going to bring Stevens up to 18. Top card now is a Birds of Paradise. Yeah, I think I like Todd in this race a lot right now. Yeah. He's got the co Ghost Quarters to take out some of these Eldrazi lands if he wants to. He's got the life gain from the Double Corsair Crew Fix. And, you know, six points of power on the board is nothing to sneeze at either. Yeah, he's going to bring Ensman down to 12. Now he's Ghost Quarter away in Eldrazi Temple. And in combination with Avon Mind Sensor... The whiff. No, there were no basics in the top four? No, there were no wastes in the top four. All two of them that are in Ensman's deck. The follow-up is Azusa, Lost But Seeking. Uh -oh. And now we're just going off. This is some value right here. Yeah, play another Ghost Quarter. Two triggers, up to 20. Ghost Quarter you. Top four. Let's see if there's a waste there. One, two, three, no. You missed again. Strip mine is pretty good in modern, what? right? Why? <laughs> uh, this is what we call the driver's seat, folks. Todd Stevens is currently in it and comfortable. I don't know how Todd does this. <laughs> you look at this collection of cards. Yeah. But I mean, Eldrajitron was the same way. Yep. You look at the collection of cards, and you're like, yeah, some of these cards are good, but a lot of them are just bad by themselves. Yeah. And then you, you watch the games play out, and you're like, oh, no, it works. Yeah, it's just, a, it's just the deck is some of its parts. Yeah. It is. I look at the Green White Company deck every time, and I just think to myself, I could never play this deck, ever. And Todd is always winning with it. It's not even like it's bad. It's obviously good. Him, Tom Ross, and Jody Keith won the team open in Atlanta with it as their modern deck. It's obviously a totally fine deck. It's just not my speed, not my style, but it obviously works for the incredibly well-dressed Todd Stevens as he'll play a Wooded Foothills trigger. Jeez, so trigger on the value. Corsair. Yeah, up to 22. Go oh, Ghost Quarter, huh? <laughs> guess, uh, is that good here? I guess we'll, uh, we'll play that because of Asusa, Lost with Seeking. Next card, uh, we have ourselves a Knight of the Reliquary. This is a good race. Nice <laughs> race. Yeah. We have ourselves a not a particularly close game. Trigger on Reality Smasher. Okay. Well, Chalice is actually going to counter the path. Yeah, many triggers there. Yeah. M failed on many, many accounts. 
Here comes Avon Mind Sensor. And it's going to take two, going to go down to 10. Anything else here for Todd? The answer is no. Karn liberated the draw. Ghost quarter you in your draw step. Take care of your tower. Mind sensor. Take a look at the top four. Any wastes? Nope. <laughs> nope. We're all <laughs> let, done. Let me take my cards. I'm going home. Nope. This is not fun. Nah, I wasn't having fun for Eric at all there. Eric definitely wasn't having any fun. Todd Stevens having fun, though. He wins game number one over Eric Ensman. Green White Company very quickly up a game here over Eldrazi Tron to the sideboards. <gasps> We're going to go. Eric Ensman has two Surgical Extraction, two Hangerback Walker, two Pith Needle, two Graph Trigger Scage, two Ratchet Bomb, two Warping Whale, a Basilisk Collar, a Relic Regenerus, and a Warm Coil Engine. And uh, he has no lands. Maybe yeah. he'll have more lands this game. What do you think he? Uh, what do you think he wants here? I mean, if you can't cast your spells, why would you even bother siding in any of these cards <laughs> anyway? That's a, that's a question. That's sound logic, really. What's the point? So you don't want any of them then? No cards. Really? No, I. I so, some of these cards I like. Um, I mean, I want needle for ghost quarter at the very least. Yeah, needle seems good. Uh, man, it's been so long. I always forget what all of these cards do. It, does the cage shut down the, the collected companies? Yeah. 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 So I, I definitely see that card. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of these other cards, not great for this matchup. Maybe the Worm Coil Engine comes in. It's expensive. I don't know if he's ever going to get there. It is expensive. The Basilisk Collar is good on uh, Walking Blister. Yep. I mean, it, there's a lot of options here. Ratchet Bomb can take out the, the, the ones, maybe the twos or threes. Maybe, if things if things line up a certain way. You know, at least it's a spell that you can cast for two. <laughs> That's true. It's actually a playable spell. It does something. Yeah. And there are options for friends. I mean, there are also options here for Stevens, even though the matchup's good. He's got two Surgicals, two Stony Silence, two Ilana Rhetoric, two Engineer Explosives, a Kataki Wars Wage, Reclamation Sage, an Eldritch Evolution, a Linvala Keeper of Silence, and a Cigar to Host of Herons. What stands out to you there? I'm not excited about any of these options. I don't think he needs anything. It's kind of a weird game. I, I could see a card like Sigarda coming in just because it's this great flyer. It's okay. a threat that can just close out the game with evasion. Okay. Uh, and, you know, the, the Eldrazi decks aren't good at stopping the flyers. But th this, to me, this is the matchup that Todd's main deck wants to play against. Sure. You know, he's set up for his Value Town deck to fight big mana decks that need all of their, their non-basics. Uh, there are two cards missing in Todd Stevens' sideboard, uh, just so that you know. Two Elspeth Sun's Champion. I, I like that card. I like that card. Yeah. I actually do like that card. Uh, it costs a lot, but I do like that card. Yeah, I can see that card coming in. Okay. Because I have his deck list in front of me. Saw that there are 13 cards. Missing two. Two Elspeth Sun's Champion are the other two cards. So there we go. Problem solved. Uh, they're shuffling up for game number two. They'll be underway here in just a minute or so. But you know we're going to see Todd Stevens next after this weekend? Come on, the you know. The Invitational. You know the answer. The, the season Berlin two Invitational. The Sender. They're nicely done. Do you know the dates? December 1st to the 3rd. I'll save you. No, I had that one. Did you? Yeah. Okay, my bad. Jeez. Do you know the dates? December 1st through 3rd. Well done. But I'd suggest showing up a day early, you know, enjoy beautiful Star City Roanoke. This is, yeah. the, hard, this is the hard sell. I think we should go to the commercial. What do you think? Let's cut straight to the commercial. Let's go to the commercial. December 1st to the 3rd, that's where you see the Season 2 Invitational. We're in Virginia at the Berglund Center. Come hang out, Star City Games. Crown ourselves a new Invitational Champion, unless Brian Colville decides to go back to back, which would be pretty dope. Yeah. Only person that's done that is Tom Ross. Get it done, Brian. Yeah, he could do it. He smashed the last one. Some really good deck choices. Metalwork Colossus yep. in Standard and Death and Taxes in Modern. Innovative yep. deck choices got him the title. Maybe we'll see more of the same two weeks from now. 
in Roanoke. Yeah, that was a really fun finals. Super awesome. Super, super awesome. Both players are going to take a look at their opening hands. I do have one thing very quickly. Someone made a very good point on, uh, on social media. It's the last time I'm going to speak about turkey today, I promise. I don't believe you. I, I promise, I promise. Let's talk turkey. Turkey burgers. They are good. What? They are good. I can't believe it. you find a way to be wrong about more things. No, they are good. Someone brought that up, and they're, they are actually just no, good. No, it, it's just strictly worse than a beef burger. Strictly worse seems strong. I know it seems strong because no. it's true. <laughs> you, ah, really, I wanted to let this just go, but then you... Mm. Well, someone said something that was accurate, so I wanted to give them credit. Turkey burgers are good. I'm sorry, man. The turkey burgers are good. In, in the, the realm of burger hierarchy... Yeah? Are they, you're saying that that's the top? I didn't say that. I oh. just read what the person said. Here's Nathan Mindsense in response to Expedition Map. One, two, three. Ah. Ding! <laughs> Ding! <laughs> oh, that's great. That is awesome. Eric, come on, Eric, give us a smile or something. Yeah. Yeah, look at him. Just yeah, all just, business. Of course I hit. Let's yeah, keep. I mean, of course I hit. Let's keep going. That's why I put the map in my deck to search for the land I needed. I'm going to play Walking Ballista and kill both your things in a minute. Dude, Walking Ballista, come on, baby. Oh, no. No, not Walking yes. Ballista. Not Walking Ballista. Let's make this happen. Why did happen. I say that? Why did I say that? Let's make this happen. Play Karn. Play anything that costs seven. That is not Walking Ballista, please. We're fading it. We're fading. Oh, he's consulting. Okay, consulting the squad means he definitely does not have walking ballista. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. He's going beat down here. Perfect. Is that Forest of Guru Land? <laughs> no? Okay. Just thought I'd ask. It looks like he's brought in these warping whales to uh, efficiently deal with some of these one toughness or one power creatures, creatures. on the opponent's side. Okay. Yeah. I think he's going to Warping Whale Hierarch, maybe? There's Smasher. And then Warping Whale, he wants to kill Hierarch. Okay, slow down the mana development. The 2-1 doesn't really matter that much, I suppose. And in for 5 comes Reality Smasher. So let's go back over to Todd Stevens, see if he can get the Value Town engine online. Yeah, I, I, I know why he got rid of the Noble Hierarch. But part of me is going, he's kind of asking for it here when he's already staring down a Ghost Quarter on the other side of the board. And the Avon Mind Sensor is in play. I don't know. You might be happy with Todd just sacrificing a land to kill one of your lands, given the well, battlefield. If he goes like White Source, plow your guy, blow up your land. Okay, things are worse then. Things are things are definitely worse. So then. much worse. Yes, things are definitely worse then. I cannot disagree with that. Here's Noble Hierarch. There's an attack with Avon Mind Sensor for three. Follow up here for Stevens. Temple Garden tapped. Ghost Quarter, your tower. Even Mind Sensor means you get to look at the top four. No wastes. Okay. And I'm a little surprised. There's a, a Stony Silence in Todd Stevens' hand, which is a card that I guess it shuts down Walking Ballista. It's okay against map. But to me, there's not enough density of artifacts. Maybe if he's expecting the Ratchet Bomb to come in and the Basilisk Collar to come in, it has enough utility. Mm -hmm. But it just seems like a card that sometimes is so bad that I don't know if I want it in my deck. It can be so bad, but it can be so good. Sure. It can, like, he, Todd might feel that Walking Ballista is that big of a problem. Sure. That he wants it. Cavern of Souls naming Eldrazi. Here's a Chalice for one. Here's an Attack for five. Chalice on one means that Path to Exile is now off the table. Here's a Dismember. He's really cutting the sources of mana. That is what Endsman is fully focused on. The Hate Bear there and even Mind Sensor, he does not care about. Sure, I mean, it, his plan is very clear here. He just has to ride his 5-5 five, five to victory. Mm -hmm. Here is Stony Silence. You know, two more turns is going to be done. Yeah. Expedition map, so bad for so many reasons right now. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the worst draw I've ever seen. Here's yeah, Warping Whale. Just shut down 12 different ways. <laughs> yeah. Another attack for five. I mean, Edson's got a plan. He's trying to ride to victory. Corsair Crew fix the draw. I don't think that's really going to do it. Here's Noble Hierarch. Pass that turn. Nope. 
He tried yep. to get it through the chalice. He failed. And Eric Hensman's going to win game number two here over Todd Stevens. Green White Company, Eldrazi Tron, they're going to get ready for a third and final one. As we take a look at the sideboards here yet again, I do want to update you on the matches that have taken place otherwise. Jody Keith is up a game here over Odin Ensman. That's Lands up a game over Colors Eldrazi. Then you've got Dylan Hand playing Four Color Energy. He's up a game over Collins Mullen playing that Salt Tide Pummeler deck. That's starting to pick up a little bit in popularity here this weekend. You don't like turkey burgers, huh? I've had turkey burgers. I'll probably have turkey burgers again, but I wouldn't say turkey burgers are great. That's not a statement I would make. I said they were good. I said they were good. Because they are good. They're tasty. No, there mm -hmm. needs to be more context than that. I feel like you understand what I'm saying. No, I don't. That's why I'm huh? saying I need more context. No. Oh. If someone slapped a turkey burger and a beef burger down in front of you right now, mm -hmm. which would you pick? Both. Kind of hungry. You can only choose one. Uh, I don't like the restrictions. Too bad. Oh, no. I don't agree to these rules at all. You are just trying to squirm off of this hook here. I'm, just, I'm, I'm hungry. Just uh, wriggling away over there. Can I, can I put them together? Like a, like, no. like the McChicken no, and, and, a, and a McDouble? Like that whole thing? Can I just jam them together and eat that what like that? What is a McChicken and a McDouble? I'm not saying that on air, what that is. You can Google that. You can Google that. I'm not going to say that. It sure though. sounds like you've done this before. I've never done that before. Yeah. And I don't feel like, I feel like you are judging me right now when you shouldn't be. I, I think you're judging yourself. I'm just saying. And, and, you're suddenly embarrassed about what you <laughs> revealed about yourself. I'm embarrassed about nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying, if there's a beef burger and a turkey burger, let's just put them together. Let's see what's really going on. Let's see what's really going on there. I bet that is delicious and nutritious. So when I lived in Curacao, mm -hmm. funny story, um, we used to call this local restaurant for lunches. Okay. And we'd be like, hey, I want a cheeseburger, and I want a chicken sandwich with cheese on it. Sounds really good. And they go, oh, a chicken cheeseburger. And we're like, sure. A cheeseburger and a chicken cheeseburger. That's what they called it. Okay, sure. So we're like, fine. So this went on for, I don't know, weeks or months where we would call and we'd order some number of cheeseburgers and whoever wanted the chicken sandwich would get the chicken cheeseburgers. Okay. Well, one day, it must have been someone new who was working there or something. We called and ordered the chicken cheeseburgers. And when we got the food back and we opened it, it was... A chicken cheeseburger? The, yeah, the... the burger patty with the chicken breast grilled on top of it yes. all in one sandwich. Yes. <laughs> that person, that new employee, they get it. <laughs> I'm like, here's your chicken cheeseburger. And we're like, whoa, this. <laughs> whoa, whoa, thank you for making my life better? This is a little much. Yeah, okay. They get it. I can appreciate what they're doing. I can appreciate it. Looks like Todd Stevens is going to scry. Don't make me choose. Just a little bit of both. I'll have half of one, half of the other. Life will be fine. Bird's Paradise, where Stephen's going to start. So you get two medium rare burgers. Okay. One is a regular burger. Yeah. The other's a turkey burger. Yeah. You're okay with this. I'm hungry. You want medium rare turkey. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that bad? I'm not a chef. I don't know. Do you want to cut out the middleman and just start eating some poison? Well, like. Yeah, that's 31. It's been pretty good. Yeah, it's been a hot it's run so been, far. It's been pretty good. I mean, can't mind if you don't try. I mean, it could be really good. Is there mayo on either? Yeah, you get whatever kind okay, of Yeah, let's go. I mean, I'm in. Doesn't, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Next pitch. Chalice for one. Pass the turn. Man, and this, these mind sensors have been doing work for Todd. Yeah, these expedition maps have looked pretty bad here for Eric. Between Chalice for Ones and Stony Silences, I don't think you can board them out, but they've been pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, you definitely can't board them out. I think it's too important to the deck. But, I mean, Todd just had the, the turn two mind sensor consistently. Yeah, turn two mind sensor, turn three ghost, turn three ghost quarter you. Whoops. Okay, so we just cast Surgical Extraction into the face of our own Chalice of the Void. Not sure I, uh... Which is clear, clearly a misstep. Yeah, I wouldn't... I don't, I don't like that. I do not like that. And Surgical Extraction searches a library for all copies? Yep. Does Aven Mind Sensor only count when you search your own library? Mm, we'll take a look at it. We'll clear that up for you real quick. There's... Just go ahead and read that bottom line out loud to the class. If an opponent would search a library, mm -hmm. so Eric would have only gotten to search the top four cards of Todd's library 
if that surgical extraction had resolved. That's correct. Look, not Eric's best play. That happens. No, I'm, I'm that just. Happens. I'm not even trying to, to criticize. I'm just marveling at all of the different ways in which this Aven mind sensor has gummed up the yeah, game. Yeah, it's, it's destroying him. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention it gets attacked for two every turn. And he already has another Ghost Quarter. Yeah, you know, four Ghost Quarter deck. I think, I honestly think that Ghost Quarter is Todd's favorite card. I kind of want to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure it's his favorite it's card. It's got to be real high on the yeah. list. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's his favorite card. He just has, like, little Ghost Quarter decks that he brews up all the time. Just constantly? Yeah, just, I'm surprised he doesn't play with the Leon Arbiter, Leon and Arbiter, like, deck. Sure. Whatever, perfect Ghost Quarter deck. I don't know, this is pretty close to the same thing, right? Yeah. But, yeah, you think every day he's like, time to brew a new deck. Four Ghost Quarter. For, yeah, that's step one. Step one, and yeah. then he just goes from there. Yeah. And he, he's working on some, like, four-color control deck, and he's like, hmm. These ghost quarters are really gumming up the, the mana base <laughs> for this deck. So instead of like changing the ghost quarters, he just scraps the whole deck. New idea. deck, yeah. just new deck. He's like, it's not going to work. Yeah, new deck. This is not it. Back to the drawing board tomorrow. He erases the whole thing off the whiteboard except for the four ghost quarters. Yeah. We'll yeah, start. Yeah. We'll start again tomorrow. Oh, ghost quarter. I think ghost quarter was a draw for Eric. <laughs> not so much. Not so much. There's a nurse's power plant. Nice land. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. A single land in that, your big, that's, big mana deck. That's going to die soon. Horizon Canopy, Todd will sacrifice that, draw a card. Of course, your crew fix the draw. All right, all right here's Noble Hierarch. I love it. Ah, I caught him. <laughs> caught him. I just, loved it. Just feeling him it's out. It's because he hesitated. It's because yeah. Todd hesitated. you got to cast that thing with confidence yep. that it's going to resolve right into the chalice. You don't mess around. You're no, just like, just here it is. No hierarchy. Here's Nurse's Tower. Uh-oh. We're getting somewhere here. Pass the turn back. Stevens. In for four. Ends been down to eight. Oh, yes, map. Map with the mind sensor. Let's How? nail it. I, think he, I, I actually think he hit. He nailed it. I think he hit. Touchdown. We have Tron. Yep. Boom. We have Tron. Nailed it. There's, there's the mine. Eric's game got off to a rough start. He's been ghost quartered twice. The surgical did not happen for many reasons. Totally fine. He, I think he's about to Tron up. And his teammate Dylan Hand has won his match and might be able to take this one, too. Tron. Okay. Okay. All right, now who has one land? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All is dust. Gonna kill everything. All right. Todd Stevens is now... Boy, this game took a turn. Yeah, that was such a swing. It's absurd. There's an attack for one with that elemental token. Chalice is the draw here, Fransman. You know it would be good right now? Walking Ballista? Yeah, like a big yeah. Walking Ballista would probably be yeah. fine. He's got a warping wheel. He's got another chalice. It's funny. He has another chalice, and a lot of T Todd's powerful cards cost three. But he's so far away from having three lands that Eric might not even want to cast the chalice right now. Well, what does he want to cast? Because he's tapping all that Tron mana. Four mana. Thought Knot's here. Path. Courser, Reclamation Sage, Tracker. A bunch of three drops mm -hmm. and a one drop that's already locked down. Can I take nothing? Yeah. Is nothing an option? Right, they're going to take Rex Sage. Sure. Ensman's going to get the rest of these cards written down. You see his teammate, a very good one there in Dylan Hand. They are, they are working overtime here because if Eric wins this game, this match is over. And Endsman's, plural, and hand, singular, will keep moving along here through this tournament. Can we just get a walking ballista? We don't need one of those, Craig. Just a big machine gun. If you do not bingo, by the way, it's going to be unreal. You I, have four, right? Yeah, I think yeah. I have four instant winners yeah, right now. Yeah, four instant winners. One, well, the one who has the dredge three or more. Mm -hmm. And we just watch, like, nonstop lands decks. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's Endbringer. You know what that is? Yeah. Yeah, that's the the promo artwork yeah, for Endbringer. Pretty good card. I think I think Todd Stevens is just Oh, he's colded. 
All right, well, there's, there's windswept heath. Which, that, I mean, that still doesn't do anything. Not that much. And we might just see that chalice for three now, too. This warping whale will take care of the elemental token. Yeah. That's a heck of a comeback by Ensman. Yeah, this is kind like, of absurd. Yeah, like, where did this come from? He didn't have a land on the board at one point. Yeah. Here's another thought not here. Yeah, I, I think we are done here. Todd's going to sacrifice and cast path. Yeah. And this is the fingers crossed path. You forgot about your chalice path. I don't think that's going to happen. It's definitely not going to happen. So, like, I like the chat. I, I like to try to resolve a spell through chalice when you're one on one. When, like, your teammate yeah, is there, the team's just, there. Your teammate's just like, yeah, no. <laughs> no. It's two on one, actually. And that's not happening. Like, if he can get it by two people, master. Yeah, let's see how many people master. Are here. Yeah, no. Okay. That's not going to happen. Company, courser, tracker. I like the fight out of Todd Stevens here. Well, no concessions ever. Come on. <laughs> that chalice for three? <laughs> uh, All right, we're going to play it out. We're, we're going to play it out. I got another draw step. Yeah, I'm going to play it out. I got another draw step here. I, I predict he's going to draw Stony Silence. I'll never know. Yep. I'll never know. As Eric Ensman's going to win this match here over Todd Stevens. Two games to one. Eldrazi Tron with... An impressive come from behind victory there. He did not have a land. And, and what did we say happened to Todd? 